what a game guys what a game nigeria finally won this match <sighs> so guys <laughs> today was so electrifying that our legs were shivering i said nigeria no matter how i try oh, come on this is my country so i <laughs> i get into it and i, I get uh, well i say I was electrocuted there. Yeah, let, let me say that, man. Because um, today's game was uh, a game that, uh, personally, I, I, I thought we could have uh, done so well in the first half. I mean, by scoring in those goals. But then, it was not just happening. They tried and tried and tried. And today was like, uh, um, Victor Boniface, this is your last chance. You need to score. You cannot be scoring, scoring in the Bundesliga. Scoring every weekend. And you cannot score. For the super egos oh come on come on what a day so nigeria met libya nigeria versus libya the third game for the super egos of nigeria in the afcon 2025 qualifiers it was played in new york and uh, before i even get further please uh, um our hearts from football inter and the rest of africa and the uh, and football lovers go to the the dstv crew guys that were kidnapped and uh, and there, there was also a fatality okay uh, our hearts go to them we pray that um their family will be able to bear this loss okay um so um going forward the game started 5 p.m nigerian time uh, it was a good will i say um, not a, a predict not a non predictable oh, come on help me guys with the starting lineup for nigeria what am i saying um boniface was up there because victor victor Osimen was not available for the game and uh, boniface was up there behind him was uh he will be on the left was uh um uh, ademola lukman and on the other side was uh simon moses okay <sighs> the offtakes for today's game um libya came to defend Libya came to just get a point and go home. Why am I saying that? Because even from the start, you find out that Nigeria had 20 shots against Libya's three shots. So even if you go further with the 20 shots that Nigeria had, seven were on target. And those seven that were on target, three were blocked shots. So to tell you that these guys came, their, their mission for today was to just get a draw and go home. But then... <laughs> What they tried failed, okay. And uh, big kudos to the coach for making those subs, super subs. I must say, Chukwe is coming in, and uh, and we have a uh, Dele Bashiru coming in, okay, to score that goal at the 87th minute. And big kudos to Simon Moses who dropped that fine assist to him, and that uh, oh, come on won the game for Nigeria at the 87th minute. At the 87th minute. So what does that mean for Nigeria? It means that Nigeria is very comfortable. Seven, uh, seven points in three games. On top of the on, on of the table, Nigeria has scored four without conceding a goal. Nigeria has scored four without conceding a goal. And guess what? The other teams than the, the, the pecking order have all conceded four goals. Yes, they've all conceded four goals. So that's big. Uh, that's a, a, a big one. Yes, Nigeria has scored for, um, but then it's also good to acknowledge that Rwanda has scored more than any team on the table. I'm talking about Rwanda scoring five goals so far. So the the, the, the qualifiers have been halved into two sessions. First session gone. We are moving into the sec second session next week, and Nigeria will be playing Libya. It's a back to back affair. So uh, the team will be getting ready as soon as possible to travel to Libya to play that game. So. Uh, my takes again my take again is that the coach um has shown that um he has something in his pocket okay he's releasing those those uh, arm rays okay to to nigerians to the squad and what has that mean it means that uh, more confidence the confidence is building and mind you one thing that we should know as nigerians and um, people following um, um the, the game is that the nigerian coach is more like the, the will i call him should i call him the the, the the technical director yes so what is his role before now he is the one that we select the coach that will coach the super egos so so come to think of it the person that is supposed to select the coach that will coach for the super egos 
is now the coach. So what does that tell you? It tells you that he he is serving two positions right now: the technical director and the coach. So what that what that means is that this man might not want to leave that position because he's the one that has the powers to get a new coach, and he's doing well. <sighs> Well, I wish him all the best. The next game, nobody's going to talk about a new coach now. As in, um, uh, come on, if he eventually wins, if he wins Libya, it means that Nigeria has qualified for the for the AFCON. They will now start talking about the, the, the qualifiers of the World Cup in March of 2025. Oh, this man has so much time. Nobody's going to talk about coach because Nigeria right now is even broke. Nigeria is broke. Nigeria cannot spend millions in getting coaches as in a foreign coach right now and you know come come to think of it nigeria does not need any other indigenous coach or an african coach at the moment from the from, i mean what's from the streets yeah let's keep it that way so because 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 to nigeria big up to african football because to our followers out there please click that subscribe button you know what we do here african football without any remorse without any bias come on thank you thank you thank you and big up to all of you watching i can't say big off and big off enough man enjoy the weekend